Hey babes, my name is Sarai and this is Sarai Has Sent. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you are returning, you are so, so appreciated, darling. We are in a new year, so I'm so happy for you to be returning after an entire year of being with your girl. You are so, so, so appreciated. And if you are new, my name is Sarai. I do videos on all things fragrance, luxury, and lifestyle. So if any of that is your thing, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this fragrance video if you care, girl. So before we even get into this video, I just want to say like this YouTube journey has been so crazy. I know it's been a while since you guys seen me. I'm just going to apologize and say that this year is a new year for me, you guys. And when I tell you I'm going to be attacking YouTube like no other, I'm going to attack it, okay? So I'm back. The top shots are back. I'm in full effect, okay? And I won't be leaving you guys anytime soon, period. Jumping right into this video, I have four fragrances that we are going to talk about today that I just added to the collection. Some of you might have these fragrances already. Some of them were new releases like at the end of the year or whatever last year in 2023. So that's what this video is going to be about, you guys, today. It's just some new fragrances that's been added to the collection. So let's get right into this. So the first fragrance we're going to discuss today is from the house of Versace, and that is Versace's Dylan Blue Parfum. I'm going to show you the bottle really quickly, just so you can get a nice look at that. Top Gorge. I love this bottle, you guys. I don't know what it is about it, but it's just so cute. And the way that it's presented inside of the box, I don't know. I just love the whole get up of this. But that's neither here nor there. Versace Dylan Blue, you guys, smells really, really good. It's very um, fresh, in my opinion. Um, I know that some of the main accords in this fragrance are fruity and, you know, floral, but... I really get a lot of fresh and green from this fragrance and I really, really like it. So hopping right into the notes, you guys, for Versace's Parfum Dylan Blue. We have top notes of Granny Smith's Apple, Black Currant, Clover, Forget Me Not, and Shiso. We have middle notes of Peach, Patalia, Rose Hip, Rose, and Jasmine. And we have base notes of Musk, White Woods, Styrax, and Patchouli. So you guys definitely get jasmine when I smell this and I definitely get a bunch of green. I get patchouli. I think I do smell like those white woods. I don't know, but I don't I don't think I'm getting any Granny Smith apple and I'm not getting any black currant or peach. I don't honestly you guys, I don't know if it's just my nose or what, but I'm not getting any of the sweet notes or the fruity notes that are in this fragrance. But it's still a bomb fragrance and I absolutely love it, you guys. Yes, I get more green in here than anything. More uh more green and just fresh. I feel like something aquatic is supposed to be in here. Um, and I don't see an aquatic note at all. So I really do feel like some type of aldehydes or something would have went great in this because that's that's what I get from this. I get a lot of greeny, airy, and just fresh vibes from, you know, Versace's Parfum Dylan Blue. But like I said, either way, you guys, amazing fragrance. If you don't already have Versace's Parfum Dylan Blue in your collection, you definitely need it. You won't go wrong. Um, this is one that you can wear up. You can wear it up. You can wear it down. If you're just making runs, you can wear this. You can wear this out if you're going out. I wouldn't say that it's super sexy or anything like that, but you could definitely wear this going out. Again, dress it up, dress it down. Make sure you cop up, guys and we're gonna move on to the next fragrance. 
The next fragrance we will talk about, you guys, is from the house of Coach. And this was a 2023 release at the end of the year. And this is Coach Love. Ooh. So again, another beautiful bottle. If you are a fan of Coach or you have anything else from Coach, you know most of their bottles look just like this. They might just, you know, do a different color or something. But I absolutely love this bold red. And I'm in love with the heart emblem that is on the end. Um... Y'all, when I first smelled this fragrance and I was in Macy's, I'm like, I got to get this fragrance. It smells so good, so sweet, so fruity, so floral, and it's just everything sexy. If you are looking for a fragrance that is for Valentine's Day, get you Coach Love. You won't go wrong. You could definitely wear this to dinner. You can wear it after dinner. Okay, you already know. So yeah, if you don't have a fragrance just yet, because I know that by the time this video drops, it'll probably be February. So, you know, Valentine's Day is coming up, you guys. Cop up on Coach Love. You're going to want to wear this for your date. After your date, your date will be so, so, so happy and so all over you. It won't even make no sense. Like, girl, I'm talking about drooling okay i was talking about drooling all over you okay you are going to love this he's going to love this it's an amazing fragrance you guys hopping right in <laughs> to the notes for coach love we have top notes of wild strawberry we have middle notes of red rose and then we have a base note of cedar wood so these three main ingredients y'all one in the top one in the middle and one in the base have created a powerful punch of like boom baby okay i don't understand how only it only has three notes and this fragrance packs the punch that it packs it smells so good you guys so fruity mm, i definitely get strawberry this is so sexy you guys oh my god i get strawberry <sighs> Is that wood? That couldn't possibly just be wood smell like see this is what i'm seeing y'all like oh my god like uh, I wore this last night when I went out with my girlfriend, Dayani. Shout out to you, girl. I smell so good. I just love this fragrance, y'all. Like, yes, it's so deep and it's so sexy. It's so fruity. It's so floral. It's so everything. And it does give off like a musky, woody feel at the end. All I know is that if you don't have coach love already you definitely need it and again it will be a staple okay in your collection for the valentine holiday you would love it your partner is going to love it i'm not gonna steer you wrong this is sarai has sense i got sense baby when it comes to the sense just listen to me and get it okay definitely ended the year of 2023 off with a bang with this one moving on y'all Alrighty, y'all. The next fragrance we are going to talk about is from the house of Versace again. Now, before I even get started, you guys, on this fragrance, I just want to say that if you are a fan of Versace and you remember Versace Yellow Diamond, you know that bottle, okay? So you know that anything that came in that bottle after the fact was a flanker of Versace Yellow Diamond. So with that being said, y'all, the next fragrance we're gonna talk about is Versace's A Bright Crystal Absolute. Ah, so excited to be talking about this fragrance. It smells absolutely amazing. And this was a gift to me um, for Christmas. So thank you so much, so much, so much for my gift, boo. And yeah, again, if you are a fan of Versace and you smell Yellow Diamond, you know that Yellow Diamond was basically the first ever bottle that looked like this. I'm talking the top, everything, but the a bottle, of course, was yellow. So Bright Crystal, Bright Crystal Absolute, these are flankers that came out after Versace Yellow Diamond. With that being said, I want to say, in my opinion, you guys, Versace Bright Crystal Absolute smells like a more floral, bright version of Versace Yellow Diamond. But I loved Versace Yellow Diamond, you guys. That was one of my favorite scents when I first, first started collecting perfumes. And I don't know why it took me so long to get this fragrance. Um, probably wouldn't have got it if it wasn't a gift. <laughs> but um, with that being said, I don't know what took me so long to get this fragrance because I loved Yellow Diamond. Like it was 
no tomorrow so i'm surprised i didn't grab it already but yeah when i spray this you guys let's check out the atomizer when i spray this atomizer's bomb as you guys can see the push out of there is absolutely amazing mm, yes this smells like a fresh floral version of versace yellow diamond and you guys when i tell you this fragrance right here smells so good and yellow diamond smells wonderful as well so if you don't have yellow diamond cop up but this right here you guys this is just so much more girly and uplifting and floral and pretty and i love this versace bright crystal absolute definitely one of my faves since i got it and as you guys can see have been using a little bit of it so we're gonna keep getting some use out of this Hopping right into the notes for Versace's Bright Crystal Absolute. We have top notes of pomegranate, yuzu, and water notes. We have middle notes of peony, raspberry, lotus, and magnolia, which I definitely get some lotus. I get peony, I get magnolia, I get all of those florals. Like I said, it's so much more fresher and uplifting and bright. So I definitely get all of those floral notes. And then we have base notes of musk, mahogany, and amber. And when this is drying down, I feel like the amber definitely comes through and that woody mahogany comes through. I'm not gonna say honestly, cause I love musk you guys. I don't get much musk from the base, but that's okay. I think that the mahogany and the amber smell absolutely amazing together. I don't think it needs any musk and I'm happy that my nose doesn't pick up the musk. <laughs> but if you don't already have Versace's Bright Crystal, um, absolute you definitely need in your collection definitely a staple again if you are an OG perfume gal you know that this one like I said really has many many hints of Versace yellow diamond it just it's more brighter this is more uplifting and it's definitely its own fragrance but it still reminds me of Versace yellow diamond which was one of my faves so again if you don't have this in your collection you definitely need it you won't be disappointed you know I got you girl Moving on to the next fragrance. Alrighty, last but not least, we are going to discuss a fragrance from Lancome. Now, before I get into this fragrance, I'm surprised that I love this fragrance as much as I did because when it comes to Lancome, I am not a fan of all the idols, okay? And I don't know why, I'm just not. Some of them are too sharp for me. Um, and I'm talking like the, the whatever uh, floral note is in there, it's extremely sharp and just like throat cutting. So I really, I don't have anything from Lancome uh, Edol in my collection until now, y'all. <laughs> and again, this was another release um, in 2023 towards the ending of the year. So without further ado, the last fragrance we are gonna discuss is Lancome's Edol Now. And as you guys can see, I did get mostly small bottles for all of the fragrances that I purchased. Anything that is a gift to me or anything of that nature normally always comes in a full size bottle. But yeah, nothing too special about the bottle, you guys. It looks just like any of the other Lancomes um, that are super skinny. Any of the other Edols, I'm sorry, Lancome Edols that are like tall and skinny or whatever the case may be. Nothing special um, except the tone, like the toning on the bottle is a little different you can see that dark i don't know what it what that is maybe orange or something like that but that's the only dif difference it's very chic cute minimalistic on your vanity moving on to this fragrance though you guys when i first smelt this i fell in love i'm like i can't believe i love something from the lancome Edo line like oh my god like this smells so good, you guys, and it's a little bit sweet, it's a little bit floral, it's just like straight to the point, you know what I'm saying? So without further ado, let's just get straight to the point with this fragrance. Hopping right into the notes for Edol now, we have top notes of rose, we have a middle note of orchid, and we have a base note of vanilla. Again, this is another one that just packs a crazy punch and only has 
three notes in it. Like, it's crazy to me. One in the middle, one in the top, one in the base, and then and they call it a day. But it's just like, I feel like so much more should be added into the notes, but it's not. But it packs that punch that you want when you want something sweet, something floral, and something that is going to last long. Sorry, you guys. The longevity on all the fragrances that we had discussed today are chef's kiss. Not gonna lie though, Dylan Blue might fade just a little faster than the rest of them, but Coach Love, I smelled it all night on me last night, baby. Edo Nail, I smelled this for hours. Sometimes I smell this the next day. And of course, Versace's Bright Crystal Absolute, I smelled that all day as well. More so six to seven hours and then you have to, you know, reapply and things like that. But these fragrances, you guys, Longevity on Lancome Edo Nail, yeah, this is top notch. Like, this is top notch, baby. And again, these fragrances to me that have the least amount of notes pack mo so much more punch than any other one that I that I've discussed. Um, I absolutely love this fragrance, you guys. Super floral, super fresh, super sweet. And you smell a little bit of everything as the fragrance is uh, first sprayed as it starts to dry down and then it finally gets to the dry down and it's like just setting on your skin. If you don't have... Lancome Idol Now. Emphasis on the now. If you don't have Lancome Idol Now, definitely cop up now, okay? Um, again, I was not a fan of everything that came from the Idol line, so please be careful about which one you buy because yeah, be careful, okay? Um, again, I wasn't a fan, so I don't like the regular Lancome that's like super sharp and things like that. This is just too, too floral and too, too, just too sharp. I don't like that. But something that falls right in the middle, I can appreciate and love. And Idol Now is definitely one of those that just falls right in the middle. So if you don't have this in your collection, you definitely need it. Definitely cop up, girlfriend. You won't be disappointed. Okay? Okay. Moving on. And that is it for this fragrance video, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this fragrance video if you care, and definitely come back next week because I will be here with another video for you. It might be a vlog, okay? It might be perfume, or it might be luxury. So make sure you come back and, you know, just enjoy some time with your girl. I, I, see you then. Bye. <laughs>